going back to the scheme of well, so obviously it's the budget today, but twenty twenty one. Um and this is a lot of stuff to go through, it's a lot of money. I think in total, um it's something like eighty something eighty eighty seven point something billion and it's been spent on different things. Um and obviously it's very optimistic and you know, it's very it's very how would you put it? It's very, you know, it's very optimistic, I suppose. But again, is it going to help anybody? That's the weird question. Is it going to help anybody? Is it just going to make things worse? So not, in my opinion, nothing's going to change. Um, but we talk about it anyway. We briefly talk about it. We might as well go through it and listen to what um, they're talking about. Um, so obviously the first thing with the topics in law enforcement and things like that. So we have, eight, they want to bring in eight, 100 years next year from Gavrish the Connell. It's just the foundation of Gavrish the Connell in 19... In nineteen twenty three, when the Ungarish Khan was founded, um, so basically a hundred year anniversary coming up. Actually, no, nineteen twenty two. Yeah, nineteen twenty two. Sorry, not twenty three. What we're talking, um, so that's obviously a hundred years. Twenty twenty two is next year, um, so it's a hundred years. So for that, they're going to increase the guard in numbers to eight hundred, um, people on the beat, officers on the beat, um, and four hundred civilian staff. Um, so obviously that's it's very optimistic and obviously it's very good um, because we do need especially in our rural communities we do need um, a guard on the beat a local guard a community guard um, and hopefully maybe that will be allocated um, something I do want to welcome and hopefully it does co- it does go to use but again I do think it should have been a tenure it would be totally honest in fuel allowance because fuel has gone up um, particularly for our pensioners and people on social welfare um, it's been very tough and a five year allowance and again I, I don't want to be picking I know the country it's a lot of the moment we, ha- we have to pay um, but I think a ten year allowance compared to a five year would have been better but that's just me again maybe it wasn't feasible um, but again it costs a lot it would cost a lot to do that uh, again they're probably just saving a bit of money but um, the fuel allowance has gone up and then obviously it should probably be ten year if, told me if I was there I probably would go for a ten year instead of a five year but I suppose beggars can't be choosers. But hopefully it does come again. I'm worried about people freezing the death in their houses because they can't afford to put the, to heat their houses um, this Christmas. And again, it could be a cold winter. God, please, God, it won't be. But um, again, this is the thing we have to we have to, we have to learn about. So obviously, the next thing is education. 9.2 billion in education um, under the Minister Norma Foley. God bless us and save us. But um, yeah, so... Yeah, what to welcome um for new SNAs the time we're getting a thousand six hundred new SNAs, thousand one one thousand one hundred and sixty one new SNAs. Um and obviously it's the biggest um increase, you know, it's the biggest amount of money been put towards this since the foundation of the state for P children with um additional needs, additional support needs, need the additional support needs. Um, and obviously that's very welcome. Hopefully it does go and hopefully it does work out. Um, and obviously they want to reduce the number of children too. Um, a teacher, I think it's now one teacher per 23 students or something like that. Um, so they're reducing that, so obviously they're taking out more teachers and things like that to reduce the, the number of students in the class so the teacher can have one-on-one times be- better with other students. And obviously that's welcome because in other countries like Finland and other countries they're way ahead of us, they're far, far, far ahead of us. But our education system is just incapable of doing that. But um, I want to talk briefly too about mental health, something I did raise, and I do say we should have put, we put a lot more on, obviously it is a good lot of money, it's over a billion. Next year would be 47 million for upgrading different support schemes and different things, and X, Y and Z. But um, I do welcome it to 47 million uh, for next year. It is, it is something that's needed, it's something I think we can all agree, it is something that's needed for particularly our young people. Um, for camps and different things, it's, need, it's very much needed for helping our people out. Um, so this is going into the deck now. Again, there's lots of other things I need to cover. So we'll be long. But um, the deck for her, for you and me, for the taxpayer, um, per man and woman and child, is 50,000 ta- 50, 50, euro in total for you and me that we have to pay back in, in debt. That's how much it's on our heads, I suppose, in debt. And the country is in 40, something like 40, or is it 400, 400 like it's ridiculous, 450 billion euro in debt um which is which is crazy which is crazy but uh, hopefully please god i won't go up any higher um um and i want to briefly talk about the social welfare to go back into the social welfare thing so for people on job seekers allowance young people on job seekers allowance is going up by a fiver um 
So obviously that's welcome too. And obviously living alone allowance is going up a three euro. Um, so pe oh, every citizen's living alone or anybody living alone it goes up a three euro. And again, I do think, again, they could have given the tenner. I, I do really think they could have given the tenner, but... Excuse me. Um, but again, what do I know? <laughs> um, maybe it wasn't feasible. Well, I have to go over for the rest of the details on my phone. So just bear with me. I want to briefly talk to about public transport. Um, the upgrade in the public transport. Um, for 1.4 billion, it's been allocated to upgrade in public transport, probably to make the green energy transport. Um, 22.2 million has been put aside to improve the energy in homes. Um, probably social housing student grants uh, increased. Um, Susie grants has increased by 200 euro for the four since it's directly 22. Um, the threshold has increased too. Um, I um, want to briefly touch about this, the free contraception thing that'll be free for, from next year for 17 to 25 year old um, um, applicants, I suppose you could say. Um, I, I, you know, I disagree with that. Um, you know, I really, really do disagree with that. But um, again, it's, the, it's a free country, I suppose. Um, so obviously from women age 17 to 35, um, and obviously free GP care for children and age six and seven. Like it's ridiculous so much if I go to forgive me for my language. But it's ridiculous. Obviously it wouldn't really be said beside for COVID measures. I don't know what kind of way to live for COVID measures. Um so ninety million allocated the if LF basic airports and things like that, uh post pandemic. So it's yeah, it is eighteen point seven billion that's been spent. Um eleven point one billion has been allocated to the National Development Plan. Um the corporate tax for big companies has gone up uh, to fifty percent as Joe Biden requested. Um it used to be twelve point five percent, now it's gone up a bit. It's not gonna make much of a difference, they still won't probably pay any tax in this country now. Um like it's again a pack of cigarettes has gone up fifty cents um to fifty you for two fifteen you for pack of twenty five. Um. Um and obviously I mentioned before but the Department of Environment something like nine billion or something been put towards the Department of Environment. Um obviously the fuel allowance to the carbon tax, um is going up. Um. Walking to home again. This is something interesting now. I I know a few people have been interested in this. And um, it's gonna be you're gonna get obviously help with that for heating and broadband and different things ski under different schemes, and um, by twenty percent, the minimum wage has been increased to ten fifty, and uh, up twenty cents, which the book the hard to do that by now, um. Again, there's ridiculous so much stuff here too, um. So obviously, this card and the public transport. This is particularly and I, I know people. The people that are supporting the Green Party and things that are waving the flag saying, Oh, it's the Green Party who done this for us. But um, it's for 18 to 33 year olds, and um, it includes 50% off public transport fees. So if you go to college or things, if you're getting a bus from Calvin to Galway, maybe to get to the, the universities in Galway, whatever, um, you have to pay, you've been paying 50% off it, which is obviously welcome. But um, I wouldn't take the Green Party, but to be totally honest, with you. um. Um. So I don't. I'm just going through to see if there's anything else. Um. There's not really else at the moment in time, but um. I want to just briefly touch too because there was something that wasn't really mentioned that much, and I did. And I said about it. I'm always talking about it, but the the department of the department of defense, the defense forces, in other words, and um, the allocation of the defense fund, and as you know, the defense fund in other countries, um, compared to other countries, Estonia even has a higher defense budget than Ireland. Um. I think it's one point something percent of the GDP goes towards the feds in Estonia, something like zero point two percent here goes towards the feds in this country. Um which Iceland I think actually puts more money towards the feds than Ireland. Um and Ireland has an army. Iceland doesn't have an army. Iceland only has a navy. Um well I wouldn't even call the navy a coast guard really. Um an armed much in coast a coast guard. But yeah the Department of Feds they did he did briefly make mention the Pasco Donahue. Um, and he said there were there a few going on in paying conditions in Oakley and Heron um, at the moment. Um, and we'll wait and see what, what, what comes of that. But um, I, I, would, I didn't hear of a number uh, how much it's allocated to the Department of Defence. 
Um, I think last year and the year before was a billion, and um, less than a billion, something near a billion, you know, um, which is obviously not much, and that's only, that's only probably still about two percent, um, of your aid, and compared to Estonia, I think Estonia is something like four billion or five billion allocated for the department uh, for their defence forces, um, but again, it does need to be done, and I keep, I keep waiting, but it does need to be done. So you know. I don't, again, I'm very optimistic, so if, please God, it can come, and obviously the huge amount of funding for housing and for childcare and things like that, I didn't briefly, I didn't talk about that, but it's so much to talk about, um, but there's going to be a huge amount, and obviously for redoing houses and things like that, there's going to be, um, they're going to basically tax property, they're going to tax um, land that isn't being used for housing or things, or suitable for housing or whatever. Um, again, it's a huge amount of things. I have to, I have to look through it, obviously. I have pages and pages here to look through. Um, but again, I don't know. Again, it's very optimistic. Is it going to help anybody? That's the real question. Is it going to help people that need it? Or is it going to help the bankers and the bondholders and the future funds? Probably likely to help them um, more than help the people because they put their own, they put their own interests before the people. And that's, that's just based upon the straight. But anyway, let me know what you take. Um, I know, please God, it can help a few people. It may help a few people suffering at the moment might do a bit of good. It might do some good. Please God it can. Um, save a bit of suffering in this country. Um, but yeah, hopefully please God things things turn up I suppose. Um, so yeah, take care everybody. Bye.